Well, good morning. What a rainy, rainy, wet morning. <laughs> we are in Richland Center, Wisconsin. Uh, had a little quick trip next to a Walmart. We plan on going to Madison, but there uh, there wasn't many options kind of along the way or lead a thought in Madison. It, look, it looked like we were gonna have to go north of Madison. So this is where we uh, this is where we parked. This is what we found. Um, we got here last night. I don't know if I told you guys um, how the uh, it looked like the uh, APU had been leaking radiator fluid. And uh, we get here, and as I back up, we walk the dogs for a little bit. Uh, I walk up here and get to looking around, and there's a a pretty good sized puddle underneath of this thing. But it was also on the fairing here. So it's like, oh, maybe it was just coming from a hose and running down the tank into that. I ended up opening up this door. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. And I could see it dripping from underneath the radiator there. So we got a hole in that radiator. So we're gonna have to walk over to Walmart and get some more uh, coolant. And um, I'll probably have to pull that thing out this weekend and maybe JB Weld it, see if we can get it. See if we can get a JB welded um, long enough we can uh, put a new one in. I mean, I wondered, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just because you buy something new doesn't mean uh, you aren't gonna have problems with it, right? This APU is just, it's been crazy, man. We tested it out at the place. We looked everything over. If the APU is the only problem we have with this truck, I'm good with that. Hell, I'll buy a new APU. But, my goodness. I can't win. I can't win. Alright, we just walked over to uh, Walmart. We got uh, two jugs of coolant. I found a load while walking over there. We're going to, uh, I think it's called North Hamilton, Ohio. We're picking up in uh, in Beloit, Wisconsin. And uh, it's a short little 300 something mile run. Hopefully that'll put us in a better area over towards Ohio. That'll put us dropping tomorrow, which is Friday. And then hopefully I can find another load for Friday that we can kind of drive over the weekend a little bit. And then, uh, we can take a better look at that APU when we're shut down for for the weekend. Probably JB welded up. I don't know. There's supposed to be a radiator shop like four miles from me right here, but uh, we ain't, we ain't got time for that. We have to uh, we have to go make some money. Ain't that right, girls? Look at all the leaves changing. I don't even think it's gonna show up right on my phone.
adjusted for. I was thinking it was adjusted uh, for blind side backing, but I don't really see the way it's set up, how it would uh, help them out. I think it just got bumped, honestly. I have to adjust that thing again. All right, he said turn before this billboard down here. quarters of a tank of fuel um, I got the phone in my pocket we weighed this thing three quarters of a tank of fuel we weigh 35,600 pounds which would allow us to pull 44,400 pounds so the Mac the Mac with a full tank allowed us to do 44.5 or 44.4 so this truck is a is a little bit heavier than than the Mac I figured we would be lighter huh yeah I was hoping we could get like another thousand pounds I don't know we have less stuff in here so yeah and we and we have less stuff in here and that exhaust pipe that I cut off was probably 200 pounds by itself I have no idea. I guess we'll find out if he unlocks the gate. Ah, so that's a little bit of a bummer. I know this trailer is pretty heavy. I mean, the rear trailer axles, uh, the weight is 9,140 pounds. And that hardly has any weight back there for the trailer. You figure since it's a, a spread axle and it, they're all the way in the back, most of the weight's probably leaning forward on my drives. And my drives are 14,520. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this, it looks like this load suspension level that we have is pretty close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh a few times when we get loaded and double check it. But it looks like it's at around 14,000 P or 14 PSI, which would mean 14,000 pounds, I think. I think that's how they, they figure that out. We'll get some weight on the drives and then I'll, I'll, I'll re-weigh and we'll, uh, we'll figure out. I don't really have trouble with my drives. I'll probably go ahead and get the uh, weight load gauge for the trailer. We had those stupid Bluetooth things that I could never get to work. And then you email the company and the company doesn't, doesn't email you back. Freaking joke. All right, so I'll back up. Where's he going? Is he... They got this pole right here where you need to turn to get to this dock.
Boy, one major complaint about this truck is those steps. It's, it's more like a ladder. It's too straight up and down. It's kind of hard to climb up them when you have something in your hands. I mean, I was able to put this grab bar back on, thankfully, but not a fan of the steps. I mean, it makes the truck look better, but I think I would rather have our aluminum steps off the Mac on here. But the aluminum steps on the Mac won't fit because this has a, a def tank, so it pushes this tank out further, which we would be into this bracket here now. So I might be able to find like, uh, maybe some narrower steps, I don't know. Who knows? Something tells me this whole section's gonna get screwed up from dragging chains up and down on the truck. Anyways, this is what we got. Simple, simple, simple. We just have to chain everything down. And we should be good to go. Let me check this, uh, this weight gauge in the truck. I'm sure we're fine. We've put backhoes on the front before. Remember when we went to California and put another backhoe on the back? Oh man, it's so muddy out here. I've got to get one of those foot brushes too. Well, hello, beautiful. Look, I've already got mud all over the floor, fat butts. Let's check this load suspension. Well, that's saying, that's saying 50 PSI, so that can't be right. We might have to weigh this thing. We'll have to weigh this thing just to double check. I'm pretty sure we're fine though. Maybe I could back the backhoe up just a little bit. Watch out, fat butts. Maybe it doesn't quite have to be up this high. Back it up, put a little more on the trailer. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll back this thing up a little bit. Try to get more of this weight on the trailer just in case. I don't want to have to chain this thing up twice. I don't know why I'm second guessing myself. I always, we're always fine. All right, we are almost done. Almost done. You just got a couple more chains to bungee up, right? Shut these machines off. He had to jump this John Deere off, so I wanted to kind of leave it running. Charge it up. I'm too old to be jumping up and down off of this stuff. I'm gonna walk around a little bit here. Ugh. I don't know if that's south, fellas. I don't know if that's south. They might be going the wrong way. All right, gotta turn all these things off. Pull the keys out. I imagine they'll have a jump box. I know you guys have been giving me, uh, you guys have been giving me a lot of hell about getting a jump box. And uh, I don't know. I, I guess I, I agree. I need one. With as many uh, dead battery deals. I don't know, I guess I just feel like it's not my responsibility. Did I not pull that key out? Let me see. Oh, I did. I just have keys everywhere. It's not my responsibility to, uh, to jump these machines off. You know? That needs to be tightened up. But, I've had a couple of companies, three or four companies actually, reach out to me about reviewing their jump box. I just haven't, uh, haven't had to do, I haven't had my time, I haven't had time to do some research on them. And I don't wanna just, maybe I'll just take all three of them, or all four of them, I can't remember how many people have reached out. Take them all, and we'll put them through a test. But see, Project Farm is, that's the channel for that stuff to be completely honest he does a lot of good uh comparisons and little old me i just don't have the time or the the smartness to really check check them out the way they need to be checked out but project farm refuses to take um 
take anything from companies. Everything that he gets, he buys. So, you know, for sure. And that's another thing. I get, I get a lot of companies reaching out to me that want me to review their, their product. But then in the fine print, it's like, you have to leave us a positive review on this product. It's like, well, then it's, then it's not a, a true review. If, if I can't actually tell people what I think about the item, then man, it's starting to, starting to come down a little bit. Then it's, then it's not a real review, you know? My gloves are so wet. I've got just those cheap leather gloves on, man. And when they get wet, they get gooey. But it's hard to find a better glove that will last as long. Man, I'm really, uh, I'm kind of sad, man, that uh, we don't get to haul more weight with this. I thought for sure that KW would be lighter because those Macs are supposed to have super thick frames. Another comment I keep saying is, why would we ever buy a Northern truck? Because they're gonna be all rusty. This truck is actually from their Southern division. What they do is they get all their new trucks up into the New York area because it's bigger. The drivers have to drive up there and swap the trucks out. But I mean, as you can see, there's no rust anywhere on the frame. There's a little bit right here from where we took the uh, exhaust stack off. And then I need to touch this area up a little bit because that's where we had that tow thing. But besides that, that's a big, that's another big reason why I didn't want to buy that other T680 from that other place because they went through and like painted over stuff and I felt like they were trying to hide stuff. Like, I get you're trying to make the truck look good, but did you just paint over a bunch of rust? You won't know until it's too late. What are we missing, woman? I gotta close that valve on the trailer so these airbags can fill back up again. We got fat butts supervising. I don't like this little mirror either. Uh, I'll probably take that off. That is to see if you have somebody in your blind spot right here. I always thought it was to, um, I always told people was to see how good looking the lot lizard was before you let her in the truck. But it's actually to see like your blind spot. But we have that bend deck, so we don't really need that goofy looking blind spot in here. All right, let me put this camera up because we are getting wet. I gotta close this valve. We're gonna hit the road. We'll see you in, on the road or in Ohio, huh, Fat Butts? Oh, you're back over here now, look at ya. You okay, Fat Butts? All right, we went right down the road, right at scale right now. Let's see how accurate this um, suspension load gauges right now it's reading uh 10 20 30 like maybe that truck started pulling forward and i thought we were rolling backwards bro i was pushing on this brake so hard <laughs> like 33,000 33,000 33 psi Yeah, you're right. 